Affirm your truth. Day 23. Remember the importance of the little things. Congratulations on passing the three-week mark of affirming your truth. We are in the home stretch now. You likely already have a permanent habit, but let's not take any chances. Keep up the diligent effort for this final week and let's seal the deal. It's only one more week, such a small amount of time, but it is making a huge difference. Remember, by small and simple things are great things brought to pass, and small means, in many instances, doth confound the wise, unquote. Alma 36.6 in the Book of Mormon. For context, this statement was made by a man named Alma to his son Helaman. He had told his son of the immense importance of the small act of cleaning the metal plates that their records were inscribed upon so that they could be of value to future generations. If they weren't cleaned regularly, the plates would tarnish and degrade, and the record would become illegible, losing all its value. If they were cleaned diligently, however, they would be of great value to future people. Now we see an actual example of that principle bearing out since so many lives have been touched and improved as a result of that small, simple act of cleaning those records. What we are doing together this month is a very small and simple thing. It's not a big, hard task to get those two truths imprinted in your subconscious mind. This is a truly amazing life and everything is conspiring for your benefit. This only takes a few minutes per day of consistently directing your thoughts, but it's a small and simple thing that will massively enhance the quality of your experience in life. Quote, a wise man will be master of his mind. A fool will be its slave, unquote. Publilius Cirrus. So be wise. Like our buddy Publilius suggests, who is this Publilius guy, you ask? He was a Syrian slave in Italy in the first century BC who won his own freedom from his physical master by his own wit. Then he wrote tons of smart stuff in Latin, so we should pay attention. Anyone who's writing smart maxims in Latin must be someone worth listening to. Just kidding. Kind of. But that was a pretty profound statement by Publilius. And knowing he was literally a slave owned by another man definitely gives the statement more potency. He knew as well as anyone that sometimes you cannot control your outer circumstances. When he said, quote, a wise man will be master of his mind, a fool will be at slave, unquote, he was presenting the most fundamental choice any of us can make in this life. Will we master our thoughts or be controlled by them? Nobody outside of us has the power to force us to keep thinking a certain way. That is the one domain where no matter the circumstances, nobody can remove from us our individual freedom to choose our thoughts. We alone hold the power to either master our mind or be a slave to it. We make that choice each day by how we decide to direct our thoughts. Which thoughts will you allow yourself to entertain? Which thoughts will you reject? Which thoughts will we consciously repeat over and over in order to imprint them on our subconscious mind? All of these things decide our freedom. The wise person doesn't leave it to chance. So I applaud you for your wisdom in doing the simple daily practice and mastering your mind. Keep it up. With every single increase in mental mastery, no matter how slight, your life becomes another notch more amazing. So keep going. Make today amazing. 